Oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said knock knock and then he hit. I think he likes your height mm -hmm. when you do the high pitch voice. Mm -hmm. That was funny. Two times you said that, and he and kicked. <laughs> he just kept kicking. That was crazy. Hi. Oh, I can hear the through your oh, belly oh, button. Oh, someone's getting jealous. <laughs> There's gonna be another little boy in town, You're Charlie. Be the only one here. All right, this is my outfit of the day. I wanted to show you guys. Look at the bump. Pretty crazy. I'm wearing this dress from Naked Wardrobe, their baby mama collection, and this top is from Urban Outfitters. I like to crop sweaters and things that are a little bit chunkier on the top and then tight on the bottom because I feel like this really is just easier for my boobs so they're not all flapping around everywhere. And I just think it looks cute because it accentuates the bump, but you still get to like cover your arms and shoulders. And then I'm wearing these Vans. I've had these for a long time actually, but they're some of my favorites because they're like this taupey color. And yeah, this is my outfit of the day. Feeling good, just starting to feel that nesting baby situation going on. I haven't felt it yet, but now it's starting to be like, okay, let's get everything in order before, before it's time. Look at this. He's moving so much. Looks like there's a basketball in there. What are you guys talking about? Oh, estamos hablando de... ¿De qué estamos hablando, tía? De tu hijo que te está dando mucha vida, mucho trabajo y que no te has, des, no te has des, desfigurado como madres de, de la primer bebé, del primer bebé. Mm -hmm. well, she's saying that, talking about the baby and what a blessing and how earlier she was telling me how usually first time moms, they get like a lot of water weight, like they retain a lot of water like a lot of changes happen and she's like, you've been the same. And she was telling me that, that I'm blessed that my baby's allowing me to continue to work and that she sees, says I don't stop and that I still have energy and... Yeah. <laughs> sexy y él también va a ser. Sexy? Te... I love when she calls familia, me sexy. Toda tu familia, de todas las nacionalidades de familia que tienen tú y Steven, uh -huh. son guapos. Oh. Las hermanas de mi papá, uh -huh. Tenían los ojos casi todas uh -huh. y grandotas, así como altas, como el cuerpo de, de Steven. Pues a lo mejor va a estar muy alto porque mira mi panza está grandote. <laughs> she said he was, maybe he was skinny, but he's tall. Well, she basically said she thinks he's going to be tall. Y tiene el color de... I heard some good looking in there and she it's going to take after me. She said something about you being good maybe. looking and like you're tall, but I didn't want to like, you know, Oh, I picked, I, that. I picked that up. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. we're good. Y tiene el, <laughs> tiene el color de Steven. All right. I think it's official. I think we are officially nesting. Um, <laughs> wow, look at that booty. <laughs> Desi is pulling everything out of every cabinet in I'm the kitchen and pissed. the laundry room right now. <laughs> I'm pissed because how did all of this become so unorganized? You know, I, there's a lot of people that live here. I'm not going to take any of the blame. I found a potato in here. A potato? A fucking potato. A potato. <laughs> in the mugs. I don't... <sighs> oh boy. All right, it's going to be a long day. It's a I'm Sunday. Pissed. We got some time. I'm pissed. We're going to do some cleaning. <laughs> So it's safe to say that I have officially entered nesting mode. I am going in on the pantry. Listen, there's a lot of people that live here, okay? You know, I got my Thea, my mom, Steven, me, and I think the organization is harder to keep up when there's so many people because, I mean, not that that's a lot of people, but everyone has like their own way of doing things, but I'm really picky about it. So now I am doing everything. Now I'm trying to figure it all out again. So far, this has made me very happy. What? Beautiful. You see this? My teas, my favorite hot chocolate. I used to love Abuelita, but then, you know, Nestle bought them out and it's just like not the shit anymore said what i said you know all my coffees over here put all my cups up here i still need to kind of go through i put like all my playful mugs up here clearly i love disney and chickens and elephants and we have some cups from squad tour and then there's also cups in there that steven and i made from color me mine we used to go to color me mine like once a week so that's what i've done so far it's about to be an organization month for me i think this is what i'm doing over here if anybody needs me 
Anyone needs a baby, we'll be here. Okay, here it is, the final pantry. Got this little wine rack for my wine because I never had an area. And we just got this at Container Store, which was great. Super easy to put together. And you can actually customize this to fit any space. And then we have our little coffee station over here. This is our coffee grinder where we grind the beans. Machine, a little espresso, some roses from the outside and some sugar in there. And I think all our coffee mugs are dirty. See, look, someone already put this out of place. <sighs> Triggered. But these are all our like everyday mugs, which I think the rest of them are in the dishwasher right now. And then some takeaway mugs. I love these, they're so cute. Some little chocolate hazelnut crackers or like cookies. And then here are our to-go Starbucks. So if we go order Starbucks, we just take these so they can just fill this straight up. It's like the same size, which is great. Our fun mugs, which I already said in the previous clip, so I don't wanna bore you with that. And then I already showed you guys our beautiful little coffee and tea set up here. I put all my loose tea bags in these little bags that I've saved from PR that I thought were really cute. Other things came in here and then I just keep the labels on the outside so that we know what's what. Over here, we have not finished this area, but this is gonna be all the things like wine openers and stuff like that. These are little wine bags for when we go to dinner parties and I wanna take a bottle of wine to someone's house. I have these, which are cute. I think I got those on Amazon. Our glasses are here. All of our bar glasses, whiskey stuff, champagne flutes, things like that. Boom, boom. And then we just have dog stuff here because to be honest, this is the most convenient spot for us to put all the dog things. Poop bags, these are great because they're biodegradable. So they are eco-friendly. These are from Duke, our favorite and just their treats, their grooming wipes and stuff like that and you know, little containers for their treats. And then over here, we got all the foods, little bread. Look, this is how crazy we got. I even made labels that says um, bread or bun and then it says Perkins Pantry because we're extra like that. And I hung this up for the oatmeal containers, instant stuff, extra back there, um, our cereals, which, you know, they're emptying out now. Right now my go-to is honey bunches of oats. And then I also put a basket back there for any extra cereal, beans, grains, pastas, all that stuff, sauces. And then some other things, canned goods down there. And then over here, this is like our snack section. I keep all my nuts, my nuts up in here. These are from the, uh, these are from Amazon. Uh, dried cranberries, pistachios, all types of things, chips some goldfish because you know those are things that I like in trail mix bars to go we got some onions in here potatoes back there crackers tostadas dried chilies extra beverages and things we love liquid IV up in this house these are so great especially for hydration you just pop them into your water bottles and they give you all the um, electrolytes, electrolytes that your body needs without all the sugar. Because, you know, Gatorade has some sugar. Not like I'm, you know, against sugar here. I have all this candy up there. That's all my candy section, fruit snacks and Altoids. And this has like, when you leave out the door, there's like extra packs of gum, Altoids. There's some ginger gum back there for my nausea. And that's about it. This is the nesting I have done in the pantry. So far, we did some kitchen work, but I didn't really finish it yet, so I can't show you that. ¿Qué es esto? Y baby. <laughs> you keep that with you, tía? Yeah. En mi bolsa cuando me salgo. Cuando me voy de con she goes out, she wants to she has it. And the and the and the and the bus and the in the Mexico. I love you. Me too. <laughs> y baby. <laughs> Look at these. Look at these guys. What's up? What are we doing? Aww, are we, are we so here? cute. Don't you love our t-shirts? Available now on WeWantStag.com. Plug, <laughs> plug. I, I'm just waiting for the baby onesies. Coming soon. Coming soon. Yep. Is How does, are you? 100,000 likes in this video will make baby clothes. <laughs> Are you excited to be Uncle June soon? Oh, I am. I heard you're going to name him after me. <laughs> oh, shit. 
Hey, if if we name him after you, maybe will you pay for his college tuition? Oh, there we go. Deal. Where's he going to college? Hey, he's gonna be very him. smart. So. Well, then he gets scholarships. <laughs> Well, listen, when I told Katie she was going to be a uh, Thea Katie, she got she got emotional. You're not really giving it to me as much. Well, but just she's like, no, me, no this is the awkward job. <laughs> He's yeah. like, uh, okay. I get with laughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. just want to know, if, like, is he going to be like me all? Do I get to spend time with him? Yeah, obviously. Yeah, he's, squad. he's part of the squad. He's the squad member. Is a squad around him, or what's the on that? Um... I mean, I don't know. Not the first six months. Maybe, maybe you don't want it to be his first words, but okay. then you know. Later on, he's gonna need to know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm what do you think his first words are gonna be? Have you guys predicted that? I don't know. I think it's gonna be mama. You think so? Drop a comment down below. His mama first or words. dada? Look at all this engagement. Mama. I think Look it's at gonna be jeans, or we want static. <laughs> we want static merch. It's probably gonna be free shipping. We want static. Oh my god! I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Oh my god. So we just opened up a package, oh. and it's a gift from uh, Trend Mood and her husband and their Mr. little Mr. Trend Mood. I love Mr. how we just called Trend him Trend Mood, Mood and Mr. Trend Mood. <laughs> so I thought this was extremely precious like this for my garden i died but then this one this <laughs> expect to expect oh my god that's so special mm -hmm. look at this put it on the belly boom Perkins produce <laughs> honestly it, it really is like amazing how great people can be i know that sounds weird no, it's just but a it's support. But it's like people that... who just go out of their way to do something so thoughtful is so special. Like, and this is very special. Not only is it like our gardening stuff that we love, but it's also something that means a lot to us. Like, on it, you know? I don't know. It's just, it's really <laughs> nice. Ugh, the morning. The time has come. Everyone on Instagram freaked me out. This is why I can't tell nobody nothing. I didn't think it was gonna taste that bad, but everyone said it tasted like the worst thing ever. And you know how long does it take me to drink this? I have to drink it in five minutes. Mm hmm I told you I'd take a sip. Did you take a sip? Not yet. Do you want me to take the first sip? Just like, just like not, not enough to like mess up my dosage. We're just like, a, just sip it. It's not that bad at all. Literally, it's not bad at all. It tastes like, I would drink that. Hmm. It actually tastes good. Acting school. The classes are paying off right now. Okay, I have five minutes. The timer. I wish I could hold my breath for five minutes because then I would just. Your timer is set for five minutes. Go. Go. What are you holding your nose for? This is a new technique. How is it? It's not bad, right? It's not. It's not bad at all. It does not taste like I rotten prepared gummy myself bears. For the Dramaticas. You're gonna finish it? Oh my god, you crushed that thing in 45 seconds. <laughs> Get it, Charlie. I'm on my way to the glucose test. I will say that liquid was not as bad. Oh, I do feel like I have to burp that. Okay. All y'all in my DM scaring me prior to this glucose test. I can admit maybe we've all had different experiences with the liquid that you have to drink an hour before the test. Maybe each place has a different type of liquid because I didn't think it was gonna be that bad. And I was totally just like, oh, my glucose test is on Wednesday. And the DMs were flooding with people telling me, oh my God, that was the worst part of pregnancy. That liquid tasted terrible. Someone told me that it tasted like rotting gummy bears melted down into a drink. And I was disgusted. I was intrigued. Nasty. 
Other people are telling me they threw up multiple times just to get the liquid down. And I panicked because you know I don't do well with things that don't taste good. Did they put it in the fridge though? Putting it in the fridge is key for sure. So I was anticipating all night, like, oh my God, I have to drink this liquid in the morning. You have to drink it under five minutes. I'm not a very good chugger. You crushed that in like 35 seconds. I had to. <laughs> I made Steven try a little bit of it first to be the guinea pig. I volunteered. Yeah, he volunteered. I didn't make him do anything. He said he would try it. If it was really bad, would you have said, wow, that's nasty? Or would you have been no, like, oh, it's not that bad? It's so good. <laughs> See, I, I knew I couldn't rely on him anyways, to be honest. So I didn't believe him when he tried it and he said it's not bad. I was anticipating the absolute worst. So here we are. A lot of you said you get headaches, so maybe that's gonna give me a headache, I don't know. I haven't gone to the actual test yet. Things could take a turn. Hopefully they don't. Hopefully I just go in there, blood work, I pass, we're good. That's pretty much all I have for you as of now, at this moment in time. It's officially the next day. Glucose test was not as eventful as I thought it was going to be. I thought there was gonna be like a whole vlog around it, but literally she went in and got her blood and we waited till the next day and... I passed my glucose test. Woo! Honestly, I feel like I should celebrate. And it wasn't that bad. From what I hear, I've gathered some intel in my DM. A lot of people said the orange one is disgusting. Mine was clear. Tasted like squirt. What else did the doctor tell me? I wanted to record, but I'm still not like comfortable recording with him. But it was also really fast. It yeah. was not like an eventful. It's kind of like in and out. It wasn't like an ultrasound. It wasn't like an eventful appointment. He just told me, okay, you're this far along. You should be feeling this, this, and this. And today and last night I've been in excruciating pain. My groin area on my left leg is in so much pain. I tried to push through to get ready, like kind of feel good. And I spent all this time getting ready and now that I'm finally here, I'm like... I'm tired. You look beautiful though. All I wanted to do is sleep. Thank you. I put extensions in. I put lashes on. I got dressed. I have nowhere to go. I just ordered P.F. Chang's, we baby. We ordered takeout, so I feel pretty good about that. He basically said if I'm feeling these kinds of pains, it's because I'm doing too much. Mm -hmm. Oh, so he didn't so. tell you you're doing too much, but he said it may be because you're doing too much. Um, no, you're doing good, though. One of the other things that he did say is that you should be feeling the baby how many times an hour? Oh, because I was saying sometimes I get nervous because I don't really feel him that much, and I get scared. Do you feel like you're giving us the best lighting? I am in a very bad mood right now. Like, I just feel like I have no patience and I can't control it. It's like, my hormones are so wild right now that I feel like I am rolling down a hill and I'm a boulder and nothing can stop me or calm me down. I'm like very, but it's cause I didn't sleep. I'm tired. I'm just. You're in a lot of pain right now. I'm just I feel in a lot like of pain. Your body's growing. You're not used to it. It's something that I'd be irritated. I, know. I understand it. He said, if I lay on my side and I really focus, I should feel him a, some movement of some sort, 10 times an hour. And I thought that was really a good marker. So, yeah. but now this morning I woke up and he's rolling around in there. <laughs> he has graduated from kicks and now he's doing more of like a somersault, I think. Now when I looked down at my belly, you could see the belly moving. That's like, so cool. Bump date. It's getting bigger. Now baby boy has his very own video camera so he That's can be cool. a baby vlogger. <laughs> he can be just like daddy. And he can also help build things with daddy too. I love all of this. Look at this little chainsaw. Is this an avocado? An avocado. Oh my God. <laughs> it's an avocado. <laughs> Toys inspired by nature. Oh my god, it's just That's perfect. That's so cute. My god, what are you doing? Come on. Oh, let's go show grandma. Mom, Mom. you're living with daddy. Look at the little basket. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny. Oh, no. she likes it! <laughs> So, how's your pool attire today? Well, 
Things just don't fit like they used they to. They don't fit like they used to. The split to. is not supposed to be up here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that is pretty. <laughs> Come here. Come on, Harper. Let's go, Harper. I'm so proud of you. Oh my god. <laughs> How cool was that? That was so cute. It's gonna get too deep for me. There's no room on the door. There's no room for two on the door. I can't get on there with you? No. Come on. There's no room. Let me in. Look at the belly. Look oh. at the belly. <laughs> How's that sunblock taste? Mm. Good. So we are 25 weeks pregnant. What's exciting, our baby is 13.6 inches in length. Longer than a foot. That's big to me. All in that little belly? <laughs> yes. It says you're probably still feeling pretty energetic, but also might be starting to feel weighed down by the bigger by the day baby. This is true. I do still feel like I have energy, but I feel heavy. Trouble sleeping? Maybe you can't sleep because you're getting nervous about delivery. I'm not getting nervous about delivery, but I am peeing a lot, so it's hard to sleep. I got a baby oh, in my Oh, yeah, and you're just getting big. Now when I'm sleeping, obviously you have to sleep on your sides. Mm -hmm. And so I alternate sides because my leg starts to get uncomfortable and I feel like I have to switch. And so I switch a lot during the night. Mm -hmm. But now he's gotten so big that when I do switch, it's almost a guarantee that I have to get up and pee. So you like try not to roll over I sometimes? I try, but then like, and then I try slowly and just hope like, okay, I kind of have to pee, but I just not gonna do it. Like, it's like almost like he just rolls over into my bladder mm -hmm. every time. It's like clockwork though, every day at like 6 a.m. 6 a.m. I'm awake every day. It's putting me on a, on a schedule already. Um, it says something you could have is hemorrhoids. I haven't had that yet. Gas and bloating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little gassy. Ooh. Oh, this part was funny. <laughs> it says, all right, you're 25 weeks. You've probably gained about 15 to 18 pounds. And then it says, are you 25 pregnant weeks pregnant with twins? For you, you've probably gained more like 25 to 40 pounds. I've gained in the twins amount of weight. Oh my God. And I don't have twins. So I feel personally attacked by that. If you have twins and, and I don't have twins. <laughs> it made you feel really good. Um, <laughs> Feeling movement. Fetal, oh my gosh, fetal they... movement at 25 weeks has become more noticeable. So exciting. 25 weeks is the best. Like so far 25 weeks is like there's a party going on in here. Yeah. He is moving. I'm out of breath. <laughs> He's moving so much. And the kicks are powerful. Like I can feel them. It's so great. Such a great feeling. Weird. So my own personal update, not from the app, is that I'm starting to get into like, like today I'm in a funk. I haven't experienced a lot of funk days and I feel like my hormones have been pretty good. I mean, the, emotional, the, the, the like the if normal, I see something on amount. TV, yeah. like I'll cry, but like Literally I haven't. Today. Oh my gosh, today we were having a meeting and someone in the meeting was like, so how are you? Nothing's wrong. I I'm had to fine. run and get tissues. <laughs> and I just started crying. I just started crying and I was so embarrassed and I couldn't, I mean, the weirdest thing is that I can't even tell you why I'm crying. I'm just Because nothing happened today. It no. was like a perfectly normal day. No, it's the hormones. Like I woke up today and it's crazy because I, you wake up and like, I can tell. I'm like, today's not going to be the best day. And I tried really hard. I was like, okay, let me get ready. Let me like try to get out of the funk. And it's like, mm. nothing will get you out of this funk. Luckily it happens like... It's only a day, the next day I wake up, I feel fine. Mm -hmm. But today, I feel like I just need to be locked in a room and cry, cry it out, and then order a ton of food. My mom made, she made some, good pasta some pasta, tonight. some comfort pasta. I just couldn't believe I cried. And, and we're, it, all, we're all just sitting there like, everything's okay. It's completely normal. And you know how guys get when you cry in front of them? <laughs> like they get all uncomfortable, like, mm, what's happening? That was awkward. It's all good. <sighs> But other than that, things are good. Everything is great. It's just wild how your hormones. I haven't felt like this since Clomid. Day's over. We can relax now. Sit back. Mm -hmm. Have a nice dinner. Just did a trip to Home Depot. 
We're building a swing. Today, we are working on a very fun project. And by we, I mean my dad and Steven. I will be supervising, which is a very important role. We are, I'm gonna say we, let's just, I'm gonna keep saying we, building a swing set for the baby. So my dad still has to build the swing set, the actual like baby part of the swing, and he's gonna take more time on that part because he has to round out all the edges of the wood for the baby, but I think, I don't know what's going on, but I need to go check out and see what they're doing right now. I think you guys picked the hottest day of the week to do this. Here's the way this works. We dig one, we put it in the ground, we set it up square. It's gonna be up just like it is. Yeah. And then, that's gonna get sandwiched with those two by tens. Oh, got it. We'll look at it later if we yeah. get the first one dug and put it in, and then we'll uh, make adjustments from there. Because <laughs> you know, I'll be I like, know how you like, are. You know what? Actually, could you guys move it over like uh, exactly. a couple inches? It's not really centered. <laughs> After we dig a After you dig four foot hole, big, big holes. How are you? Yeah. Ooh, coconut. Coconut. It's coconut. Cold. Thank you, mommy. Supervising is a very, very hard job, okay? I'm over here being forced to drink coconut water, watching the boys do the work in the hot sun. <laughs> This bottom piece of wood oh, right yeah, here. Oh, yeah, I see. You pull, yeah. pull it that way. Oh, that way. Got it. Just maybe an inch, and then I'll measure it. Okay. Yeah. Pull right there. There. That was it. Wow, good job. You did it. Wow. Anything let me, you guys need. Let me check square. Great job. That's why I put my overalls on, because I'm a professional. <laughs> <laughs> we're actually all framed up in the hole, and we're about to quick create it in, cement it in, but we need uh, Desi's approval, boss's approval before we. Uh, start doing any more work so we're taking our mandated break all right let's see the progress here wow look at them i'm we taking a little ice entry. cream snickers so, bar break did you guys do the cement all right oh wow yeah. do you think i should put like what's that really pretty um vine dab that smells like really really nice should i put one of those here star jasmine and it grows so grapes, fast but grapes on one it's right here down the street we gotta, we gotta get the swing first. Huh. <laughs> Do I want too much, Dad? <laughs> Honey, you can have whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, don't tell her that. You're training her for me? <laughs> Between you and me, man, this girl. Honestly. It's not me, guys. It's the baby. Okay. The <laughs> 25 years. Yeah, what was that baby what about? What was that about? The other baby. Yeah. <laughs> the... That baby. The yeah, big right? one. The big baby. The big baby that's grown the little baby. Well, I don't know about that. Well, I don't live in the past. I'm only in the present. Okay, so if you want to talk about the past. So we're at the nursery right now. We're going to vine up one of these little white star jasmines on one side of the post. And then we have a passion fruit vine that we're going to put on the other one. So this is a little temporary swing that my dad was against, but we're putting in for me because, you know, I just want a, a swing moment. Aww, wait, am I gonna be the one to test it? What if the whole thing comes crumbling down? I'm pregnant here, it's a hazard. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Total cost of materials, $165. Uh-huh. The memories? Priceless. Priceless. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, I'll be going to this when it gets all dried up. Oh, yeah. going like, going up and over. <laughs> well, you can't. That's pretty strong. It's just, what it's doing, see, Steven? It's, it moves up and down on this. Yeah, it's just ratcheting on the... Uh... On that rail. Aww. So cute. I just love all the trees. This is such a special moment. I love seeing my dad and Steven work together to build this. Like, it makes me so happy. Honestly, this is the best. We have our passion fruit vine over here, and then we got a star jasmine um, vine over here. And for anyone who's gonna say, are you scared of bees or spiders? No. We have a whole garden here um, that relies on bees and spiders, actually. They don't really do anything to us. I've not been stung by a bee, knock on wood, since I've lived here. 
They're all pretty friendly. They don't do anything to you, so I think we'll all be fine. They haven't even stung my dogs. You know, we're all about nature here, so be excited. I wanted to do this all day. Oh yeah, that's why I wore them. Right there, now you can help. I did something. I moved the... You're, you're a good swamper. I was, I was moving. You were handing tools. I was handing tools. Yeah. Moral support. Moral support. I brought beverages. Beverages. What do you think, Patty? These are uh, these still my Steven, you did a great job with your padrino. Great job. So beautiful. So the smell it's incredible. incredible. Last minute incredible. addition. And look at the butterflies already yeah. coming around. Is this not like picture perfect? Oh. What's going on here? What you doing, honey? Can't hear me. What are you doing, babe? Oh, sanding it down so it's not as rough. Ooh. And then we're gonna um, eventually whitewash it, or maybe put it like a little stain on it so it's not this. I like that. Okay. That's nice. Awesome. Looks yeah. good. Well, thank you. Do you want to tell people a rundown of what you guys did yesterday? What if somebody wants to make this at home? What did you do? Got some uh, four by sixes. Yeah. These up here are two by sixes. Uh, two of those. We got some bolts to go long enough through. Through them. all of it. Offset the bolts so the wood wouldn't split. It can handle the pressure. Those two, there. they're a diagonal. Same thing on the other side. So once we frame the whole thing up, then we dug our hole about three and a half feet down with some uh, hole diggers. And we prop the whole thing back up leveled it filled it with concrete we filled it with concrete because that's how it stays sturdy that's how steven and my dad can both swing on that swing which by the way i made them test first because you know just in case and then once that was in and up and then the concrete was settled then we drilled in our two holes for our actual swing and then the swing is just it's a it's a two by four that we just cut down and we got two little eye hole loops and then we got the chain and then we ran it up and it's actually the whole thing i think i already said it but it was like 175 bucks for all of this. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. It looks amazing, honey. How do you feel? This is your... I feel accomplished. It's this like is, a, a this is the first build. thing you built for your son. For little baby. <laughs> your son. That's pretty cool. Your seed. My seed. <laughs>